I only have one message to give you. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you call me. I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. 1776 is coming again, and you're not going to stop the new enlightenment, the new renaissance. Get out of the way. All of you, you globalists that want to suppress technology, radical Islamists that want to suppress culture, it's over. We're the real liberals. America was exceptional, and we're bringing it back. You traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face, and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. They're into exterminism and pure evil. They're in love with death. The people at the top of this know they're going to, they know what the real plan is. These are some sick people. No one will go to the New York Times or care that it's even admitted that the government's hatching most of the terror plots. Or people will say, what are you doing? Endorsing radical Islam, saying it doesn't exist? I didn't say that. I said our criminal government is arming them, aiding and abetting them, protecting them to attack and kill us so they can take our freedoms. That's what I said. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? something to the new world order okay you're not getting our guns 1776 started when you tried to get them you bastards and as charlton heston famously said from my cold dead hand you sons of bitches you got that you're not getting our firearms do you understand this far and no further with your damn dictatorship no we know you won't let christians get out <sighs> it is so sick and it shows how much they hate us bitter clingers they don't care if you're black they don't care if you're asian hispanic arabic whatever you're a christian this global government hates your guts and christians are persecuted and our leaders our christian leaders are controlled and won't stand up for us we're under attack people and christians should come together and even if you don't believe in christianity but you believe in western culture and freedom you shouldn't like your culture, what you came from, being under attack and being replaced with a bunch of crazy, radical, jihad crap. And people know I was against the Middle Eastern wars. I don't dislike Muslims or Arabs or any of it. But I'm not going to bend over with a bunch of radical ones telling me that my daughters belong to them and are going to wear hoods on their heads over my dead body. We're taking this country back, period. We're done. I don't care if it's globalists, radical Muslims, Satanists, whatever, whoever you are. Moron, get out of my way. And I mean moron Obama support or something. Do you know that almost every other nation in the world has been disarmed and enslaved? Do you understand authoritarians always try to take the guns? Do you know about the UN treaty coming up in two months to openly restrict our Second Amendment? Do you understand what's happening? Remember they'd say, these crazy gun owners are all out buying guns, two, three, four million a month, saying they think Obama's going to come after their guns. Why, they're conspiracy theorists. We don't want your guns. Don't go buy those. And now they're all over. MSNBC, CNN, Salon, Newsweek saying, get rid of the Second Amendment. 
Search that term. Get rid of the Second Amendment. It's all over the news. Within minutes of the shootings, these are disingenuous authoritarians. Stop calling yourselves liberals. You're disgusting, race-pimping social engineers that want to domesticate the American people. You're disgusting state-run media. And the reason you're panicking and wanting our guns is your ratings are plunging down to almost zero. These shows have almost no viewers. You're an echo chamber, and you know the sleeping giant is awakening. You've even said that you've lost the gun control debate. Liberals that I know are all out buying guns. Women are. Learning how to defend themselves. Learning about real empowerment. Listen to me, you little turds. You little bastards. You're not getting our guns and you're not destroying this country like you did the Soviet Union when you took over and murdered all those people. Just like Harry Belafonte said, put us in re-education camps. I've had the communists tell me that's your plan. You're going to fail and you're not going to get our guns, you pieces of trash. You probably staged the damn murder. You probably staged the mass shooting. You stayed fast and furious. You're the number one suspect. Pieces of trash. You want American filth? Go to North Korea and go to hell. I hate you, you scumbag authoritarian murderers running your drone attacks worldwide, jacking our vaccines with cancer viruses. I see you and I know what you are, you murdering authoritarian trash. You'll never get our guns and you know the republic's rising and the red blood of the American people across the board is awakening. And describes sniper response to the unarmed civilians and how they will shoot unarmed civilians during crowd control operations to psychologically terrorize the crowd and make them go away. They say they will shoot them. Of course, there's a lot of big problems with this. This is what the Nazis did, what the Soviets did, what the Romans did. Uh, this is what bad guys do. And then, of course, it means then the rules of engagement turn about fair play. It means people will start shooting back, and then a civil war starts. So they're being given orders that the Nazis wouldn't put on paper. The Nazis wouldn't put stuff like was in the Patriot Act on paper. They just did it. And I'm not comparing our military to Nazis. This is the orders that are going out. This is the training. Our military is freaking out over this. And they're freaking out over domestic psyops. They're freaking out about all of it. This is unbelievable. And if we don't make a big deal out of it and have a debate about it and say no, it will then become the official policy. They just got around to telling you about it this year. Austin, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, Los Angeles, California, Dallas, Texas, Boston, Massachusetts, New York, New York, Trenton, New Jersey, Miami, Florida. Folks, th that's not the only secret projects. They jack the water with hundreds of chemicals. No one would put up with all this if we weren't being given daily chemicals. Do you understand me? And I will not sit here like a guinea pig and be messed with anymore. The microphones are real. The chemicals are real. The army manuals are real. The NSA is real. The cancer viruses and the vaccines are real. Real, 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 real. All of you people out there are under attack. You better figure that out. Let's go to Brenton, FEMA Region 6. I guess that's somewhere around Texas, where Texas used to be. I mean, I live under FEMA! I live under NORTHCOM! Those aren't words to hype things up and scare people. This isn't a science fiction movie. This is real! And a lot of people just say, well, that's the way it is. Yeah, I know a lot of this stuff's true. I, I've seen it for myself, but what am I going to do about it? See, as soon as you have that attitude, and I know why you got that attitude, as soon as you got, as soon as you just, as soon as it's too big, it's it's game over. I just hope that everybody out there who works for the system gets off your little power trips because I see it in your eyes and your actions. You people are the biggest jokes of all. You think you're on the winning team? Boy, you're dumber than you act. Then okay, I didn't make it up. Do you understand me? I'm sick of everybody out there being in denial. Instead, we arrest people that steal a loaf of bread, and then we let the globalists steal trillions. I'm sick of it, man. I got three kids. Three of them. All you little fake punks that work for the system want to fight with me? I'm trying to save your lives, you dumbasses.
You start a fight with us, the American people are going to absolutely slaughter your ass up one side and down the other. You think I want to pile your dead bodies up a fucking hundred, excuse me, hit delay on that. I am getting sick of this crap. You shouldn't have to have a contest. People pay people $10,000, even though it's great. You should do it for humanity. Do it for art. That's how we'll defeat the tyrants, is, is giving the human art, the human spirit expression to jam the culture wave of the mind control that would have to take our free will, dumb us down, and put us in a trance to control us. That is the ultimate sin against free will. God gives us free will. The enemy, the devil, the deceiver, the accuser, Get behind me, Satan. What does Satan do? Gets in front of you on our road to the stars. Satan gets in front of human development. Satan only gives us mutated technologies and mutated systems that control us and dumb us down in an attempt to play God and build an artificial system to predict the future. The devil doesn't have omnipresence. The devil is trying to use humans made in the image of God to build a God machine to be able to understand the future and decipher everything. The devil only knows how to con people and manipulate people because he is a magician. He is a deceiver. He is a fraud. He is a lie. He is not one, one trillionth what the creator is. To hell with the devil. Straight to the pit with Satan. Down with Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Get behind me, Satan. Down with the devil. Down with the fraud. Get out of the road. Get behind me. You understand that? Get out of the road, New World Order. Get out of my mind. Get out of my free will. Get out of my way. Humanity is going interstellar. And, 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 and this great challenge of the devil and the smartphones and the NSA and the culture destroying and the chemicals in the water and the war on the family, it's all coming down. It's all going down. It's the test. We're going through the fire, in, through, and beyond in the animating contest of liberty. The devil doesn't give you the animating contest. The devil lies and tells you that he gave you what God gave you. God gave you your gifts. God gave you your power. The devil lies and says, sell your soul to me and I will give you gifts. The devil will do nothing but pervert the gifts of the creator. We are made, think about that, in the image of of the master builder, the supreme architect of the universe. And idiots will go, that's a Masonic. No, the Bible says the heavens are the handiwork, the signature. Of course they are. All of it. This whole creation. And we are made in the image and the likeness in our mind, in our body, in our form of the supreme entity that has built the entire interdimensional system that our minds cannot even begin to imagine. And the devil has a good idea of that, and the devil wants that, because the devil is never a maker. The devil is a taker and a twister and a counterfeiter from the beginning and a fraud.